when when people think of you know neuro oncology or think of brain tumors, the most common thing that comes to mind is glioblastoma because uh, it's the tumor that's most prevalent and it's the one that we hear the most about. But there are a lot of different uh, tumors, uh, either primary brain tumors or uh, uh, secondary or, or metastatic brain tumors that uh, people can be diagnosed with. Um, when there's something that's kind of identified on an MRI or otherwise um, that's, you know, concerned that there may be a tumor, there's a large, or there, there's a uh, involved process that takes place to kind of determine what we're dealing with. Um, many times that means doing additional imaging to see if there are any other areas throughout the body uh, where that uh, abnormality may have come from um, that may be more accessible. Um, if we don't identify something like that, often we're on to uh, uh, performing a surgery or doing a biopsy in order to get a tissue diagnosis. Um, over the last uh, decade, um, one of the things that we've realized is um, even tumors that uh, may look the same under the microscope and be given a specific name, um, there are a lot of different uh, mutations and things that can be present in these tumors uh, that would uh, change not only treatment but prognosis and you know um, the the sort of things that people can expect um, that come with a, a brain tumor diagnosis um, and so uh, one of the things that we uh, bear in mind or specialize in in our program is uh, recognizing that not every tumor is the same um, and that uh, your diagnosis really depends on all gathering all of the information and understanding how to put that together uh, to form the best treatment plan.